for anybody that got, I'm, I'm guessing a 2016, probably 2016 and maybe 2018, I'm guessing. But I have a 2016 Nissan Altima. And usually when they get recalls on vehicles, they should be mailing you the recall that they came up with. So currently, as of now, the current recall on my car, which is the Nissan Altima, and probably, like I said, usually most cars are like, whatever parts or issues, be like the first three years, those cars have the same issues, same parts, they're kind of similar. So I had to say from 2016 to 2018, probably having the same issue, but the recall is, is the hood latch. It says, let me see, the hood lock, replace primary hood lock, sprindle and install label, clean lubricate, secondary hood lock. So from what the letter was saying that they mailed me, it was saying that it was known to get wet from rain and you know, just wear and tear. And once it got wet and from wear and tear, it would stop working. So it would stop working to where if you had to open your hood for any reason, you could not open your hood. So they made it as a recall. I don't know what qualifies recalls to become recalls. I'm just going to say for my opinion, maybe it becomes a recall if enough customers have the same issue and the issue can become a hazard or impede on safety. So I'm guessing it is a safety issue if your hood won't open because let's just say you need to change your oil, you need to add transmission fluid. You need to get under that hood in case your car breaks down. That's safety issue. So it makes sense that a hood latch could be a safety issue. But it was at one point, I think that Nissan Sentra's had airbag issues the last, I think, five years ago. And I actually got an airbag light on. I need to hook my scanner up to it to see why the airbag light came on. But at least I got at least I got my hood latch fixed. I got nothing to do the serpentine belt too because I did not feel like struggling with that tight ass serpentine belt. But just make sure you take care of your car. Your car will take care of you if you in turn take care of your car. So that way when you go to sell it, a lot of times, you know, people want to, they will pay top dollar depending on the owner. If you had it, that goes with trucks too. You know, the truck, if a owner, if a truck owner took good care of his truck, most likely he can get good money for it because the truck is in tip top shape. So take care of your car. I ain't gonna say you only get one because you can get as many cars you can in your lifetime. But what I'm saying is, you take care of your car, your car will take care of you. You don't just put fuel in it and then keep it moving. Actually keep up with the preventive maintenance.